Hi, Turbo Girl! In the last lesson, we looked at how a composite figure is formed and how to find its perimeter. Today, we are going to learn how to find the area of composite figures. Turbo Girl, are you ready to start? Yeah, let's go! Turbo Girl, do you know how to find the area of this composite figure? Well, I have to divide the figure horizontally into three sections. A, B, and C, and find the area of each of these sections. Firstly, I have to find the length of these three unknown sides. Since they are equal in length and add up to 12 cm, each side is 12 cm divided by 3, which is equal to 4 cm. Next, I can find the area of each of the three sections. The area of A is 4 times 3, which is 12 square centimeters. The area of B is 8 times 6, which is 48 square centimeters. The area of C is 12 times 5, which is 60 square centimeters. So, the area of the figure is 12 square centimeters plus 48 square centimeters plus 60 square centimeters, which is equal to 120 square centimeters. Well done, Turbo Girl! I have here a more challenging problem on finding area of composite figure. Are you ready, Turbo Girl? Ready, teacher. Okay, what shapes do you see in this figure, Turbo Girl? There is a square and a quadrant. I know how to solve it. The shaded area is the part of the square not covered by the quadrant. So, I have to take away the area of the quadrant from the area of the square to find the shaded area. Very well, Turbo Girl. Can you show us how it is done? The area of the square is 7 times 7, which is 49 square centimeters. The area of the quadrant is 1 quarter times 22 over 7 times 7 times 7, which gives 38.5 square centimeters. So, the shaded area is 49 square centimeters minus 38.5 square centimeters, which is 10.5 square centimeters. Well done, Turbo Girl! Let's do a summary of the lesson. How do you find the area of composite figures, Turbo Girl? First, we divide the composite figures into basic shapes. Next, we find the lengths that are not given to us. Then, we find the area of each basic shape. Finally, the sum of the areas of the basic shape gives us the area of the composite figure. Good! That's all for today.